channel. Hey, I'm Ellen. If you're new here, please remember to hit that subs subscribe button if you're having a good time throughout this video. Um, in, my analytics tell me that like 90% of you watching aren't subscribed and I'm not okay with that. So hit it. Hi guys, um, so today I am here to tell you all about my Doc Martin sandals. Um, I cannot stress to you enough how many questions I get about these sandals. Both the videos are very highly viewed and I um, get so many questions about how they're wearing and like uh, what size to buy, how they fit. I get so many questions so I thought I would make a whole devoted video to basically explaining um, a bit more about them and answering all the frequently asked questions in both those videos um, so that you guys can come here or I can direct you guys here to watch this one if you've got a lot of questions about them or want to purchase them for yourself. Um, I will leave the links to both these sandals down below and let's roll on into talking about them shall we? So the first pair I'm going to talk about are my older pair which are the Dr Martin Voss sandal. Um, I get so many questions on the videos for these and these are over a year old now I'd say so um uh, on the, in that video I was newly unboxing them but they're over a year old now um and I first kind of want to talk about how they're holding up um so they are sorry a bit gross but they are holding up so well they leather is still all in really good condition um it's got a few like strings I don't know if you want to see that like strings of bits coming out but I kind of feel like it had that at the beginning as well but a few like strings and bits but it doesn't bother me in the slightest um and then these soles are wearing a bit so you can kind of see where the wear and tear is but they're not as kind of pointy as they once were um so they are obviously the soles are wearing um and that will obviously be different depending on how you walk and at the back they've got quite a bit of wear as well um again it doesn't bother me like aesthetically you can see the front there's some wear too yep but um aesthetically that doesn't bother me in the slightest um it's kind of just how much wear you'd have after a year of wearing shoes i think and also i'm not joking i wear these so so much they are my most worn pair of sandals in the summer easily hence why i picked up another pair um they're really really comfortable and yeah that's why i picked up another pair um in terms of my one of my most frequently asked questions is um, how do they fit? Sorry, I'm looking outside because it's just started pouring down. Um, hopefully you can't hear that or it doesn't make the lighting go weird. Um, but yeah, they are, how do they fit? So I don't recommend sizing up in these. I didn't, but I, I don't have a particularly wide or particularly slim foot. I guess I just have like a normal foot um so i don't find this too like fat or thin i just find it very like it fits me really nicely and i'm a size 4 or 37 in these and that's the same size i bought in my dr martin boots as well so um i have gone for exactly the same size in these um they fit really really nicely around um all of the straps they have um two ties here so you can make it tight around the back and tight around the front i think mine's uh on like the medium the medium ones on the side and then i do when i have these on tend to keep them quite tight around here um i didn't have to break these in at all they were always really comfortable for me um and i have just been loving owning them basically um again if you've got any other questions please let me know but i think the main questions are how are they worn now and um have they been comfortable and what size have you gone for and how big are the straps and that sort of thing um so yeah i've gone for true to size in those absolutely love them also more recently picked up the Blair sandals so um these are very similar obviously to the Voss um however they've got like a high uh, bit that comes around your ankle rather than these two straps um but they're very similar in terms of what they're made of they're made of kind of the rubbery uh plasticky uh, material that the Vosses are also made of and um, they are vegan leather the Blairs as well um so these i've still got stickers in them i should really take those out um these i would say i have again gone true to size so i've got a size 437 these are definitely bigger than the voss sandal so although i have gone true to size and i wouldn't have wanted to size down these personally for me if you've got the voss sandal they're not the same size these are definitely bigger i'd say the straps are wider and also the length is let's put them together to see if that's actually 
true, but yeah, you can very, very marginally see that the blare is ever so slightly longer. Um, so you can, like, you can tell on the blare that it is slightly bigger. So I personally wouldn't have sized down, but I would recommend going to try these because I reckon a lot of people do need to size down and that seems to be the feedback in the video on these as well is that a lot of people have sized down. Um, I've only actually had these for a couple of months so I can't really comment too much on the wear and tear. They've kind of like worn a little bit at the back the same way the bosses had and slightly at the front but the sole is still pretty um, as it was when I bought them. Um, these are taking a little bit longer to break in than the bosses did. I didn't need to break the bosses in at all, but these are giving me a little bit of rub round like this area. It's actually quite sharp when you feel like that as well. So it's that kind of area. So I think they, they are gonna stretch a mold to my foot, um, but they do need some more time to break in. These are like not as kind of straight to wear comfortable as the bosses were. For me, obviously everyone's foot's different, but these, are not as comfortable at the moment um but i'm hoping they get as comfortable because i absolutely love them i love the color um and the vosses uh sorry the blares come in so many colors as well i think the vosses do as well um but these come in a really range like a range of really cute pastels um, i've obviously got the kind of bright i think it's called like salmon pink or something but um it comes in a whole bunch of like pastel colours as well. They're just really cute. Um, so yeah, I did think I would, I wanted to update you guys on um, how they were fitting, answer some frequently asked questions, um, and yeah, just run through a little bit about, a bit more detail about them because I know you guys seem to want to know. Um, I'm going to grab my phone and just run through the comments on the video quickly and just see if there's anything else that uh, comes up um, quite a bit and we can answer those questions too. Oh, people have asked how much thicker are they as well? Like, how much taller would they make you? I'd say they're a couple of inches. They're quite like, maybe like an inch and a half um, taller probably. Like an inch, an inch and a half taller. It's quite like, they make you substantially taller I would say. Which I love because I'm small. Um, and a lot of people have said, yeah, they buy them in a size smaller. So I personally, like I've said, have bought them in my size. But people have commented that they have bought them in smaller sizes. Yes, that's kind of the main bulk of the questions, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and useful if you are considering picking up a pair of Doc Martin sandals. I actually couldn't recommend them more highly. I love both these pairs. I know I said the Blairs are going to take some time to break in. But I'm okay with that because I love them so much. I'm kind of willing to break them in um, and give them like uh, time to break in because I know if they're going to be as comfortable as the Vosses that I'm going to get so much wear out of them once they are up to scratch comfort wise. Um, so I'm really, really um, loving them. I would probably consider buying another pair. Um, there are a whole bunch of Doc Martin sandals out there um, that, that are, I've got the kind of like the lighter, um, more rubbery ones but there's ones with like the much thicker um, more substantial soles um, but they are the ones with the higher price points these are obviously the lower price point side of Doc Martin sandals but still beautiful nonetheless I love that the Blairs have the like yellow tape um, stitching around it as well I think that's just so like iconically Dr Martin and I absolutely love it um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video guys like I said at the beginning please please do remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that little bell if you want to stay updated for a few Future videos and smash a like on the video if you got this far 100% and I will see you in my next one bye guys